They totally flipped the script. Look at them. Uh -oh. This is one of my favorite aquariums here. I think I may want to add something different to Tiki Falls. Look at the salad they're eating. What is that, a whole food salad? I'm actually going to get 25 fish. Pastel banana ball python. Aloha, Friday, my Ohana. Just like your boy promised, I was up late last night editing for you guys. This is another banger. I'm sure you can tell by the thumbnail and the title what happens in this video. I can't wait to show you guys, so stay tuned to the very end of this video. Before we jump into this video, I gotta give a huge shout out to Island Silver Crowns. Check out the newest crown. This one's called the Big Kanaka. Cop yourself a crown, guys. Links down in the description below. Look at this. You got the cacao. Look at the tattoo on the lid. You got the Big Island with the Kanaka Maoli color. Ooh, love it, brother. Appreciate it. Go cop yourself a crown. If you guys haven't seen part one, I'll leave a link up above. Click it, check out part one. And if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big aloha, mahalo for tuning in. And I'll see you guys back over at Aquarium Depot. Now for my big African cichlid keepers, they have a, a section devoted just to African cichlids. Check them out. Oh, look at these blue dolphins. You can never go wrong with a blue dolphin. Look at them. So pretty. There are some mixed peacocks. Sorry for the glare, guys. I'm trying to get the best angle and shot for you guys. Juveniles, too. So it's almost like a grab bag. Some more mixed peacocks. I see some stunners in this bunch. If you look really good and take your time, you can find some stuff on nerves. Oh, here's some more mixed halves, though. These are mixed halves. Haplochromis. I see, uh, oh, right there. Right there, one of my favorites, too. Zebra obliquidin. Love these African cichlids here. Beautiful fish, pack a lot of color, too. I just love the way they look with that zebra stripe. Beautiful. Ooh, look at, they got some frontosas over here, too, as well. Oh, some burchardii, a little mixture of, uh, African cichlids here in this tank. Beautiful too. Oh yeah. Oh, we got some more in here too. Beautiful, beautiful. That's one thing about uh, African cichlids. There's a lot of people that get them confused thinking that they're saltwater fish. If you want a freshwater fish that looks like a saltwater fish, look into African cichlids. I'm telling you, let me show you some more colorful fish. Look at these beautiful imbunas. Yellow, blue, the colors are just gorgeous. You can never go wrong with some imbunas. Look at them. You tell me, if you got this set up with this rock, this type of natural gravel, people will think these are saltwater fish, I promise you. Ooh, look at these larger frontosa. Oh gosh. Beautiful, beautiful. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get a good angle here so there's no glare. Now when I say large, they are probably about four inches. That's a good guesstimate, four and a half inches. Of course, they take a long time to grow. So the bigger they are, the more expensive they are. And for $49, that's not bad for this size. To be honest with you, beautiful fish though. An all species tank, a bunch of frontosas in one aquarium. Beautiful. A nice selection of aquarium pads. Ooh, I love these moss balls. Check it, check it out. Those little moss balls, how they have them floating. Yeah, they're uh, floating Christmas moss balls. Balls, balls. Isn't that cool? Talk about a cool effect. $7.99. Look at that. Isn't that neat? That'll give you guys some inspiration. So if you look at the aquarium from afar, with those floating Christmas moss balls. Look it. Don't they look like the movie Avatar? They had those floating islands. Remember that scene? You can totally get inspiration from this aquarium right here alone. A bunch of these balls floating. That would be so sick in the aquarium, right? Oh, look at these beautiful koi. These are considered large, fancy, imported koi. $39.99. Look at the colors. Wow. 
looky looky dear. What do you think, Ohana? What do you think? Or should I say, what do I think? Okay, so check it out. We have, ooh, a bunch of boxes. How many boxes did we get in? You guys know off of? Was it two, six? Eight boxes straight from the airport, guys. Look at all the bags of fish floating in the saltwater aquarium section. Ooh, look at this beauty, huh? That fish is in a bag, probably stressed out. And look at the colors. The purple, the gold, the yellow, the black. Oh, so pretty. Imagine once this fish gets acclimated. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. Look at this goby. This goby's in the bag, look at it. It's like a beautiful pink, yellow. Look at the details, the white spots. And that's in a bag. Imagine once these fish get acclimated, look at them. Oh my gosh, look at the yellow on the fins. Beautiful, I think this is a dragon goby, I think. I could be wrong. All right, Ohana, so I'm gonna take you to the other side of the store, which I rarely go to, okay? Check it out. All right, so here's the front of the store. We're gonna head over to the reptile side. Check it out, which I hardly come to, all right? So let's go take a peek at the reptiles that they have here at Aquarium and Reptile Depot. Oh, check out these beautiful ball pythons. Are you looking for a space to put them in, Aquarium? No, no, I'm gonna feed them. Oh, you're gonna feed them? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Can, we, can we view that? It's possible, now I gotta feed them in the back. Oh, gotcha, dang it. Sorry about that. All right, that's all right. A lot of sensitive people out there, a lot of sensitive people, I get it. That is beautiful. Look at those beautiful pythons. What are they called? Pastel banana ball pythons. Pastel banana. Pythons, beautiful. How much are they for the people if they want to know come by? These guys are four forty-nine ninety-nine. Four forty-nine. Look yeah. how beautiful though. Such a rare python. Oh my gosh, look at the colors. Beautiful. What are you gonna feed them? Mice. Ooh, live? Yeah. Oh, I love it. Too bad we can't get that on video, guys, huh? Beautiful. They're gonna have some live mice. One of my favorite reptiles, guys. The chameleon. This is a veal chameleon. Look at Beautiful, right? Oh my gosh. Look at that dome on his head, huh? Beautiful. Look at this bearded dragon. Check him out. <laughs> What's up, bud? OMGZ. Check out this red Russian tortoise, red foot tortoise in here. Look at him. These guys are doing work on this salad. <laughs> Look at this dude. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Using his foot to tear a piece off, look at that. These guys are doing work, look at this pig. Huh, look at him, ooh. Is that a bell pepper? That looks like a piece of bell pepper. Matter of fact, look at the salad they're eating. What is that, a whole food salad? That's a good quality salad here, man. Ah, these guys are getting the best of the best of the best. Best of the best of the best, sir. Look at this Akata Stortis, guys, look at. Oh, so pretty. Okay, we came at the right time. It's feeding time, guys. This is kind of cool. Is this, is this mixed roaches in here? Yeah, look at there's one giant cave roach. Look right there. at that uh, they just massive roach. <laughs> See, they even take care of the roaches. <laughs> <laughs> look at this roach. It looks like it has armor on it. Look at that thing. And uh, this is what they get. Ooh, look at this one's jumping in. Ooh, look at that. Oh, doing work on that carrot stick. Look at him. This dude just came out of the dirt. <laughs> look at. <laughs> we got some more coming through. Look at him. Uh oh. Here they come. <laughs> the spidey senses are tingling. Look at them, look at them. They smell the food, they're coming out of nowhere. Creepy crawlers, guys, creepy crawlers, here they come. Oh, you got a piece of carrot. Oh my gosh, look at these guys are savages. And people buy these for pets, huh? Yeah, I have three at home. You, do you really? Yeah. That's awesome. This one here, what, what kind of roach is this? This one with the beautiful wings. He's a giant cave roach. Oh, a giant yeah, cave roach. These are the juveniles, so they don't have their wings yet. Oh, really? Okay, so this is a, uh, an, an adult, adult. Yep. and then these are juvenile. Wow. Without their wings, though, look how pretty the colors are. Gosh. My man has three of these at home. 
<laughs> yeah, if I try to keep some roaches at home, yeah, that would probably be a... I want a divorce. I want a divorce. I want a divorce. I want a divorce. I want a divorce! I didn't realize I was going to sit here and video roaches for that long. Those were fascinating. I mean, I've never seen them feed a bowl of vegetables to roaches. Fascinating. That's so crazy. People have roaches for pets. Right. All right, guys. So this is Chris. So come on down. Aquarium or Reptile Depot. Come see my boy Chris. He'll be here in the reptile section. He'll answer all your questions that you have. He even knows about roaches too, okay? So ask this guy. He's got three of them at home. Thanks, Anything. Chris. Oh, I appreciate man. it, my no, man. Brother. This guy, man, he runs the show here. Guys, come on down. I'm seriously, uh, they got fish, salt water, fresh water, beautiful reptiles, tortoises. Oh, man. I love this setup. This is one of my favorite setups. Look at that. Half land, half water. Ooh. Check out the beta wall that they have. This is so awesome. They even have them on the other side here, too, as well. Look at that. Big selection of betas here. Oh, wait a minute. They totally flipped the script on me with this aquarium here. Check it out. This is one of my favorite aquariums here. Look what they did. They stocked this bad boy with beautiful African cichlids. Like some big, full-grown African cichlids. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That looks like a yellow lab right there. Big frontosa in the back. Ooh, I love what they did. Ah, oh, is that a Rhodesii? Oh, Rhodesi, some of you guys may pronounce it. The clownfish is still in here. Oh my gosh. Dragon, blood, blood, dragon, whatever you want to call it. Ooh, look at this beauty. Oh goodness. That is a beautiful frontosa. Full grown African cichlids here, guys. Ooh, look at the eye biter. Right there. Haplochromus. Hoo hoo. He is a monster. Wow, I've never seen them change out this aquarium and make it African cichlids. I mean, you do have a blood parrot back there in the background. He's been in this tank for a while. I'm pretty sure this clown loach has been in here for a while. Big clown loach too, by the way. I can't believe how big <laughs> these African cichlids are. I love what they did with this tank. I can't get over it. Man, so pretty. Look at that. Ooh. I told you guys, if you want some freshwater fish that look like saltwater fish, African cichlids, that's the way to go. Oh, check out the OB up there. Beautiful, nice OB. Look at that. Ooh, wee. Almost looks like a blueberry. Love, love, love what they did with this aquarium. Boys, great job. I love this aquarium. And they also have the Shark ADV 800. We already know I'm about these guys right here. If you guys want to know how much these are here, $32.99 for the Shark 400, $39.99 for the Shark 600, and the king daddy of them all, $47.99 for the Shark ADV 800. While supplies last, these things go fast, guys. You got two of these here, you got three of these, and it looks like you got three of these. So come on by, pick them up, the CJ Shark ADV. You know your boy Hawaiian Fish Keeper, he'll sign his name on these. Oh, look at they got some hillstream loaches. These are beautiful. I love these guys. They look like little, like, I, I guess freshwater, kind of miniature stingrays-ish, you know what I mean? Super cool though. I mean, I can't leave this place without showing you guys this beautiful piece of art. I'm just going to call this a piece of art because what you're about to see is something gorgeous. Check it out. One of my favorite saltwater setups of all time. I mean, look at this beast. Look at. Talk about bells and whistles. This is the one you really want. It's got all the bells and whistles. I know I've shot this little uh, saltwater aquarium before, which it isn't too little. I believe it's a 210 gallon tank. But just look at it. Look at the life in this. You talk about having a piece of tropical paradise in an aquarium? I mean, it's like having a piece of the Great Barrier Reef. Imagine that in your living room. You don't even need a TV. Who needs a TV when you got this sitting in your living room? It's beautiful. All right, my Ohana, so you know I had that tragedy that happened with Tiki Falls. And uh, for the most part, we've been slowly but surely rebuilding the stock in Tiki Falls. 
we added Joey, the new Koi, we added Chris, the new Koi, and now we have a total of seven Koi and three goldfish. Two juvenile Shubunkins and one black Oranda goldfish. Hmm. I don't know, I just, you know, I may have an idea. I think I may want to add something different to Tiki Falls. But it's something that I used to have in Tiki Falls that I kind of miss. I have an idea. Come on guys, come with me, let's go. I'm actually gonna get 25 fish, yeah, two, five. I had to call my boy Eddie, the cleanup crew, that's right. My boy is cleaning house on some fish for your boy. Stay tuned. In a second, we'll be back at the house. We're gonna acclimate these fish and then we'll do a big reveal and uh, run some B-roll. Maybe we'll get some underwater footage of these 25 beauties that your boy got. I'll see you guys in a second. Pooh, we are home just like that, guys. I'm in the backyard. I know it looks kind of weird. Uh, it's just one of those like shade, pop-up shade thingies that I have in the backyard because it is blazing hot. It's pushing 104 here in Sacramento. Uh, but check it out. From now on, any fish that goes into Tiki Falls, we got a viewing, I guess we can call it a viewing container, before we actually let them go into the pond. So we get a really good look at whatever I plan on stocking Tiki Falls with from here on out. So something I should have thought of way before. And speaking of the fish, behind me or that way, not behind me, to, to my left, your right, I think maybe, I don't know. You are one pathetic loser. 25 fish in the Tiki Falls. You guys wanna know what it is? Well, let's go. Hana, here Whoa. they are in the tote. Look how beautiful, right? Now these love ponds, they thrive in Tiki Falls. And like the other fish that I lost, I lost all of my white cloud minnows. So I'm super excited to have the white cloud minnows and the gold cloud minnows too as well. A total of 25, I believe I got 15 white cloud minnows and 10 of the gold white cloud minnows. So we're gonna go ahead and release Watch. them. They're gonna go right inside that flower pot. You see those water lilies there, the pond lilies growing up? They're actually uh, right at the surface now. You can see it. See them? They grew. So let's go ahead and pour these out and uh, we'll get a nice underwater shot of them. All right, so there you go. We got 15 white cloud minnows and 10 gold white cloud minnows. Tell me what you think down in the comments. Not only that though, guys, please don't forget to give this video a big like. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel out. But not only that though, take this opportunity to hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button is a little bell. Click that bell, turn it on. It's just gonna notify you when I upload a new video. So glad I added these fish to the pond. It's looking like old school Tiki Falls. A lot of you guys down in the comments were asking, hey, are you ever gonna put white cloud minnows in? Well, there you go. You asketh and I delivereth. They just add another level to the pond. You know, you see your koi, you see your goldfish, and then you see 25 schooling fish swimming through. Now the ideal is to uh, maybe have them breed in the pond too as well. And we'll just have a bunch of white cloud minnows and gold white cloud minnows. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. Other than that, we will see you guys on the next video. Thanks again for hanging out. Much love and aloha.